First up this week, Mr. Potato had Star Wars edition. This is the Luke Frywalker. A riff on Luke Skywalker. This was a pound, uh, so it's pretty good. Brand new. We're just coming up to Christmas now, so things such as this, I'm sure they're gonna sell well. And I'd say for that, you could probably get seven. Next up, we have um, a lovely pair of Skechers. I saw these sort of early on in the day, sort of assumed they'd be a little bit out of my price range, but I was struggling. He said he originally wanted 15 uh, and he'd gone down to 12. So I offered 10 and he took that. Nice pair of trainers, pretty much brand new. The main thing I look at is, is always the heel because on my trainers, that's the first thing to go. They're called bikers. So I assume they are for bike riding. They do kind of have that look to them. And yeah, I think they were a really good buy actually. Pretty sure I could get 25. You PlayStation bits. One of the classics of the PlayStation 1, which is Die Hard Trilogy. This, along with a few other games, is actually some of my earliest memories of the PlayStation 1. So this is very nostalgic for me. Uh, I do love this game. I was thinking earlier, a funny thing about this game is it's just the fact that they did stick three completely different games on it. Uh, I don't think they'd do that now. I think they'd sort of cash in on them individually, but this game's great. So you've got a third person shooter, uh, you've got a rail shooter, and you've also got like a driving game. Um, and they're all really good fun. Condition wise, it isn't the best. Bad cracks on the back, which brings me on to something else that is quite close to my heart. Here at the Bible, we're starting up a little charity, uh, the Abused Game Society. And if you could just take five to watch this short presentation, I'd really appreciate it. Every year, over 16,000 PlayStation cases are damaged or broken. In 2017, the number of scratched discs exceeded 6 billion. While some are oblivious to the impact on the retro collector's market, here at the Carboot Bible, we've built the Abused Game Society. A small but adequate clinic deep in the beautiful landscape of the Shropshire Hills offering advanced cleaning, rehousing, and a basic chill-out space. Last month alone, the Abuse Game Society saved over 0.3 games from extinction. For only £28 a month, you could put a game up at the clinic for six weeks. Simply text the number on screen, and your welcome pack will arrive in six to eight months. Thanks for listening. Thanks for taking the time to watch that, guys. Uh, please donate if you can. For this piece of gold, I would say five. Final Fantasy uh, nine. Final Fantasy is always a, uh, a default pickup. Yeah, there's no manual, which is the one downside. But all the discs are there. Um, I'd say the discs are decent, minus the second one, which is a little bit sketchy. I have tested it and it seems to work, but obviously I've not played through it. I'd hope to get 15. The Simpsons Hit and Run. One of those random games that is worth picking up on the PS2. There's a lot of Simpsons games around. Not all of them are worth a great deal. This one seems to be. Um, it's quite a good game. I was just playing it. Price-wise for this, I'm going to say six. Now we have Puzzle Bobble Universe on the 3DS. I don't know loads about these games. I've got a couple of them on the Game Boy and I know they're quite collectible. I played a little bit of this earlier, it is quite good fun, and I do like puzzle games. Uh, there's no manual, which is a little bit disappointing, as I'm sure you'll agree. So for that one, I'd hope to seal a fiver. Random game I've never seen before, Mr. Bean. I'm a big fan of Mr. Bean, I must say. Uh, huge fans of kids, uh, still a big fan. It's a great series. Uh, this game I played earlier, I must say it is pretty cool. It's like cartoony platform game. Uh, again, we have no manual, which again is a shame. Someone's obviously been demanualing these, which is sickening, but... Yeah, worth picking this one up, actually. You're looking at seven. Okay, so uh, LEGO Batman, the video game. I played LEGO City on the Wii U. It was fun, it wasn't brilliant. I think a lot of the LEGO games are very samey, if I'm honest, and I don't think they're the best games in the world by any means, but I guess to the kids, they do appeal. I got a little bit of a bonus inside, which is Batman The Brave and the Bold, the video game. From doing a little bit of research, this relates to a TV cartoon. Um, it's a really cool game, actually. It's like a sort of cartoony beat map. 
The Lego Batman in the region of five pounds. And for this game, um, I'm going to say four. It's Sonic Classic Collection. I'm personally not a Sonic guy. Uh, I never really liked the game a great deal, but I always feel like this game's gonna be worth money because it's all the Sonic games. And I guess if you get the Mega Drive kids who want those games on the go, this is where they're gonna land. Worth picking up if you see it, because for this, I think I could get eight. This week was okay. Obviously, Bestie wasn't there today. For the first few hours, I only bought one thing. Uh, and then towards the end, I picked up a few nice bits and bobs. Yeah, the only thing I would say about this week really is it was freezing. Uh, it was so cold. So next week, I will be donning some winter gear. And I advise you to do the same because winter's coming, guys. And there's going to be different aspects to the game other than just retro knowledge. A few shout outs before I uh, sign out officially. Uh, Money Mantle, Volvo Pets. And Andy Hops. Thanks for saying hello, guys. And that's it from me.